It's time for Ryan's Roses this morning on 102.7 KISS FM. And we got an email from Sandra in Lakewood. She says, my husband and I went out to eat. When the waitress came up, she seemed surprised to see me with my husband. My husband acted weird. She was a little bit rude and never came back. So she thinks something's going on with her husband and that waitress. But that, hold on for a second. I have it's questions. a big leap. I, I have questions. Sandra, good morning, and thank you for coming on. Quick question. Do you think yeah. that something's going on with your husband and the waitress? I do. Yes. But why would he bring you to that right. restaurant? Why would you go to that restaurant? I think he's just stupid. I think he's just, something's not right. I can feel it. Something is definitely off. It doesn't add up the way the I'm manager just, who, was Whose idea and, was it to go to that restaurant? It was his. You know, we're just hanging out on Thursday. That doesn't and, add up. That, it's like, well, why? But he might not know that this waitress worked at that specific restaurant. Huh? Mm-hmm. How did he, he not know? She was there. If he'd hooked up yeah, with her, he, wouldn't he know where she works? Maybe he met her at the restaurant. Or if it was just a one-time thing, he knew she was a waitress oh, but so didn't know where. Oh, so the world's that small? Well, I don't know. All right, Sandra. Uh, did you... All right, so he, you said he acted weird. What did he do? He actually looked excited to see her. He, like... He kind of perked up Again, this when she all, walked up. Yeah. This is all not making sense to me because I think he would panic if he saw her, if something was going on. So right. I, I'm not so sure. I, I'm just wondering, are we connecting dots that are far, far away, you know? So well, here's what we'll do. Like that feeling, got that gut feeling, like something's uh, going on. All right, we'll, we'll just do what we can do. So hold on for one second. We will okay. come back and try and call him and offer him the roses. I just think that based on my experience, this is not a scenario that sounds like something's going on. He brought her to the restaurant. He acted excited. All signs, nothing's wrong. Uh, all right? A kiss, we'll do it yeah, now. Yeah, I'm with hang you. On. If you just got here, we're making the call on Ryan's Roses right now. So hang for a second. Sandra just told us that her husband and she went out to a restaurant. Waitress comes up. Husband's excited to see the waitress. Waitress is rude to her. Husband starts acting weird. She thinks something's going on with her husband and the waitress. But the husband picked the restaurant. So I, I'm, I'm totally, all of my years and years of training thrown out the window. I'm confused. I don't know what to think. This is anti-everything I've been trained in the field about. In the field. So, Sandra, I need you to say, Ryan, you my permission to call, and then his name on KISS FM. Go ahead. Ryan, you have my permission to call. Okay, got it. All right, be very quiet. Let's find out what we can find out. He's going to be on the air, but don't say anything okay. till we tell him he's on the air. Here we go. Be very quiet. Here we go. Okay. Thank you. Hello? Hi. Is this Sal? Speaking. Who am I talking with? Hi, Sal. My name is Francesca, and I just opened a new flower shop. It's actually called Franz Florals right here inside Lakewood Center. And I wanted to call and offer you a free dozen roses. They're a beautiful arrangement uh, just to get the name of my new shop out and nothing on your end. I don't need a credit card or anything. I'm sorry, what's your name? Fran? Francesca, yes. Uh, Fr- Francesca, yeah. Nothing, nothing in this world's free, sweetheart. So I, I don't know what to tell you. I mean, I can't. Uh, if you're offering me free flowers, what's the, what's the hook? No hook. If you like the flowers, I just hope you come back and maybe tell your friends about us. Uh, we're just new and just trying to get the name out. Uh, so you're not going to ask me for, like, uh, you know, social security info, my mother's made a name. I mean, you got my phone nope. number. What else? <laughs> no credit card information, no Venmo, no nothing. I just need the name of the person you want to send the flowers to and the note. And wh- where's your store at again, would you say? We're inside Lakewood Center. Lakewood Right Center. by the Target. Well, I, t- I tell you what, I'll take the flowers, and if they're nice, I'll, I'll come down and see you. How's that sound? That sounds wonderful. Thank you so much. Yeah, hey, you're the one giving me free flowers. I'm, <laughs> this doesn't fall in your lap every day. Okay, great. So, Sal, let's start out with the name of who you want to send them to. Uh, Sandra, like short for Cassandra, Sandra, S-A-N-D-R-A. Perfect. And who's Sandra to you? That's my lovely wife. Awesome. That's so nice. What do you want to put on the note? 
Um, how about just, um, darling, these flowers aren't as lovely as you. I. Mm, Sal, your voice is being broadcast on the radio. My name is Ryan. Thank you for staying on with us for a second. We've been contacted by Sandra, who you just sent the flowers to, your wife. And it sounds like you're sending her a very sweet message. Darling, these flowers aren't as lovely as you. I know some people might think that's cheesy. I love that stuff. I love that stuff. So are you there, Sal? Uh, yeah, yeah. This is just weird. Uh, you, this is Ryan Seacrest. Yes, sir. Now that's not that's not as weird as the fact that Sandra's on the line. So let's grab her for a second. Sandra, can I just tell him why we're here? Yes, yes. Hi, Sal. Hey, baby, what's up? Hey. Well, so that's the thing. tonight we went when we went out to dinner uh, on third, and the, the waitress and the manager. So yeah, something I don't know, something doesn't feel right. Something's off. And I actually called into the show to get some help, to get some advice. And so I was telling them what was happening, the circumstance. And so, yeah, I still don't understand why, you know, why you would take me to that restaurant, you know, with that waitress there, like just something's going on. I was wondering if you could just come out and be a little bit more upfront or tell a little bit more about why you didn't tell me right away what was going on. Okay, hold on a second. What What do you think is going on? I mean, it really seems like you probably hooked up with that waitress. Whoa. You maybe didn't know she worked there. Whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, what? No. Okay, well, something about this whole thing is shady, and I just, you know, I care about you, I love you, and I haven't been sleeping, I'm exhausted, so I just want to get to the bottom of this. I really just want the truth. I don't even care what the truth is, I just want it. All right. Uh, there's, okay, so you know that I've been there, like not with you, but like you know with my friends going there to get a drink, right? So mm-hmm. one of my friends that you know, he hooked up with that waitress, but this guy that you know happens to have a girlfriend. Okay, so you do know who she was. Yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean, we were there at the, <laughs> at so the restaurant. You, Sandra, do you know who he's talking about? The guy? Yeah, yeah, I know of him. Yep. So and where were you when so, he hooked up with the girl? What do you mean? Were I, you I was there? talking to her friends. I mean, I was, I was talking to her friends, and then they, Ooh, when so I came home, oh, no. they went to their place and did whatever they did. But, I mean, I wasn't. Yeah, I was not part of any cheating on you. I didn't do anything other than just talk to this girl's friends and cover for her, your, yeah, your buddy. Make, yeah, I mean, I, listen. Yeah, well, okay, listen. It doesn't make sense, but I mean, it's. I mean, it, it doesn't look great. Okay, I didn't even know that. I didn't even know that the, that girl and him, whatever happened there, that happened that was bad. I don't even. Yeah. I don't even know. When, well, what doesn't look great is that you lied to me. So why didn't you just tell me that at the time? Because now you're making it seem like something is going on with you because you 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 didn't just tell me the truth. Now I'm on the right to show trying to get help from the from well, Wayne so, Seacrest. And like, why would you do this? Why don't you? Why didn't you just come out? I mean, and, okay. Well, one, why would I take you to that restaurant if I cheated with someone from there? And two, it's an awkward thing to say that my friend cheated on his girlfriend, and I knew. Fair. And then you know, you know, it's like it's just. A, Man, it's it's a you that. Now, yeah, what do you do? Is this more awkward, really? Well, is this, this is all very. Awkward? It's all. It's always awkward at this stage. But Sandra, now, what do you do with this information? That's what I'm curious about. Now you know. You know what's going on. Is there anything for you to do? As far as the yeah, other guy? It's, it's a concerned? serious trust issue. Like, I, I want to talk to the guy and get the, you know, I want his number, your friend. Yeah, I want that guy's number. I want to call him and see if his story no, adds up no, no. to this story. I need verification. Well, you want to match the stories up. I, that's, that's fine, yeah. Tanya. I think that's fair. She wants to cross-reference the stories. All right, well, look, uh, Sal, we have to actually run, but Sandra and Sal, thank you for coming on. Sal, thank you for 
sticking with us. Sandra, thank you for reaching out. Go for it and see what you can find out, okay? Uh, hey, Ryan, we, I need those flowers, man. If you want to find those flowers, I think I'm in the doghouse. So if you want to hook that up for me, I'd appreciate it. Yeah, this is the doghouse. Well, hold on. Let me give you to Tanya. She'll sort something for you, okay? Hold on one second. Tanya. Give, oh. give, thanks for that. I mean, yeah, we got to run. Where are we running to? What do you mean run? Kiss FM? Now I have to deal with them. Oh, what, uh, do you, is there too much on your plate today? Do you want me to take it uh, off of your <laughs> plate? I'll handle do? it. No, I just, I thought you had time today. Sorry, kiss. What are we supposed to do with him? Send flowers to him. Or her. To his wife? But whatever. Let's talk about it in a second. Yeah, Sal wants something from you, Tanya. You were the one out there boasting about the services you provide. That so is he wants true. something. There's got to be something from Kiss you can send him. But let's talk about this. All right. So going back to Ryan's, or was it Sandra and Sal? Uh, I believe Sal. I don't think Sal did anything wrong, except it got a little sketchy when Sal said, so here's what happened. So Sandra and Sal go to this restaurant. Waitress acts strange in front of her husband. She thinks the waitress and the husband have had history. Well, they have because the waitress and Sal's buddy hooked up, and Sal just kind of like twiddled his thumbs while they did. It sounded like, but when he Not was like twiddled his thumbs, he was talking to, he her talked to her friends. That part was a little like she said. Like, she asked the right question. Well, wait a minute, Sal. When he was hooking up with the waitress, what were you doing? And he said, and I kind of cringed when he said it. I was just talking to her friends. That sounds not great. And he said no. it doesn't sound great. And he was like an accomplice to his friend cheating, which I don't like. Like, you. No, no, no. We're, 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 I don't know that we're in the role of going there. I think we're in the role of trying to figure out, did he cheat? We're in the role of going anywhere we want, really. Right? <laughs> like, let's just take this ship and steer it to Catalina. Uh Oh, Catalina. Catalina's flowers. Yeah. <sighs> he put on the card, Sandra, darling. These flowers aren't as lovely as you. It melted me. But I'm cheating. I don't I don't think he's cheating, but I don't I don't that's, I don't think I like him. Mm-mm. Well, I, again, I don't know if our role's like, oh, I do I like am I going to invite him over for Easter or not? But Right, like he's not coming to the rad pad to hang. Right. But that's fine. I believed Patty, I mean, I believed that he was not cheating. I think he was in a tough situation and he probably tried to he probably tried to de-escalate it as much as he could. I agree. I think he's telling the truth. I think, I mean, it, it makes complete sense. Why would he take her to the same restaurant? restaurant? That's just stupid, for lack of a better word. I mean, that's what she said, though. Is That's what your word she used. Yeah. 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 But- uh, again, and now, so, so she, if you didn't hear it, so she, the wife, Sandra's going to call the friend of her husband's and find out if the stories match up. That's messy. Yeah, that's something else. Hey, Tatum, good morning. How are you? I'm doing good. How are you guys? We're doing well. Let's get a neighboring opinion here. We're kind of on the inside. What's your thought on this guy? I honestly think he's a total sleazebag. Like, that's all I got from the second that he got on the phone. I'm like, he sounded like he was flirting with Tanya and just, I don't know. I I don't I don't necessarily think that he cheated on his wife with his waitress because I I wholeheartedly can't believe that someone would be that dumb to do that and then just show up at the same re- like that just seems too dumb. But I don't know. Maybe maybe he was trying to get in with one of her friends or something. I don't know. It just he seemed like oh yeah 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 um, nothing nothing happened and I don't know it just felt real sleazy did, the whole did time. Did he call you sweetheart, Tanya? I think he uh, did he, at one point. He definitely yeah. called me something. It was always something. It was like mm. yeah, yeah. So something like nothing in this world's free, sweetheart, or something Sweet. like yeah, that. Yeah, 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 sweetie. Uh, yeah, it was just so uh, sleazy. Uh, I'm like, okay, no, dude. No. <laughs> I just don't get it. Even 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 if his friend hooked up with the waitress, why is he taking his wife to the same place? Like it right. just seems bizarre. Tatum. Yes. Thank you for calling. Thank you so much. You guys have a great day. You too, Tatum. Bye.